there was an explosion Valentine's Day night, but not in anyone's pants. Actually, it was a meteorite at 9.13 a.m. in Russia, spreading panic and some of the best video on the internet I've ever seen. Bruce Willis wasn't needed this time because the meteorite wasn't quite the size of Texas, but it did weigh 10 tons and enter the Earth's atmosphere at 33,000 miles per hour, as estimated by the Russian Academy of Sciences. The meteorite shattered 18 to 32 miles above the ground. There are unconfirmed reports that this was due to an air defense unit firing a missile at it. This is not likely. The meteorite probably shattered due to the enormous amount of heat caused by the compression of air in front of it. This phenomenon is called a bolide or asteroid airburst. According to witnesses, cell phones stopped working and windows were shattered up to 125 miles away from the point of impact. According to emergency ministries, 474 people were injured and 20 were hospitalized. You can actually hear glass shattering in some of the videos. Some people are theorizing that this incident has to do with the passing of asteroid 2012 DA-14. And the answer to that is no. The two incidents had nothing in common, and asteroid DA-14 had nothing to do with global warming, as CNN has suggested. Our science guy, Bill Nye, and you know, talk about something else that's falling from the sky, uh, and that is an asteroid. Uh, what, what's coming our way? Is this an effect of, of perhaps global warming, or is this just some no, meteoric no. occasion? Except it's all science. As Neil deGrasse Tyson said on NPR this morning, asteroids are just nature's way of asking how the space program is coming along. What do you think? Please let me know in the comments below, and please remember to like and subscribe. And yes, you are susceptible to Wheaton's Law. I'm Will Wheaton, and you're watching Nerd Alert. Don't be a dick.